The Cospet Prime 2 Android standalone smartwatch phone comes to us from Banggood. Check the show notes for the buying link. If you find what you learned today useful, we appreciate if you decide to buy this watch. If you can use our link, that helps us out here. Now, here you go. I'm going to show you a handful of fun little apps that you might want to put on your brand new Prime 2, especially if you're into photography and cameras. We talked about a lot of these in the Genesis review and supplementary information, and I'm going to have links in the show notes for you and show them to you in just a minute to get you there. Let's jump in, show you the first one. You see it right there when I shake the watch? See it disappear? It's called Quick Camera. When you tap it, I got it all set up that it's going to launch and take a picture, you see there, and then go away. Shake it and it's gone and it's nowhere to be seen. It's in the resolution of the camera at full resolution, but what it does do, unfortunately, is take the picture upside down. Yeah, so we have another app for that too. Let's get started. First of all, special apps. These are the ones that I'm going to be talking about. Button Mapper, and these are the companies that they're by in case there's more than one. Organized Drawer, thanks to Alrod for introducing me to this one. Uh, he used it in one of his specialized watches. Really cool. Instacamera, you're going to see that one here shortly. Quick Camera, that's the one we just did. And you'll notice that neither of these are in the Google Play Store anymore. You have to get them uh, downloaded from my little resource center, tinyurl.com slash androidwatches. And then Rotate Photo, which is how you're going to solve that problem of these guys making pictures upside down when the camera's facing forwards. You got that? All this is in the show notes. All of this is clickable. That's where you're going to go to get into it. So let's start with Button Mapper because that is really, really cool. You see, uh, you, you got a couple of buttons. The top button is always the one that's going to turn it off, turn it on, and bring you back to the home screen no matter where you are. When you long press, you get into here where you can make square screen, boot, reboot, all that kind of stuff. Go into power mode, which I just accidentally did. Press and hold, and I hit power save again. I can come back out of it. So you don't want to mess with this button at all. But this one doesn't do anything, typically. So you have two positions, long press, and double press quickly that you can set up and program using button manager or button mapper excuse me um, I'm going to route you over to the uh, Genesis review where we talked in detail about how you install and set up that app I just want to quickly show you what I've mapped it to when I double tap the bottom button check this out I got all of my apps in alphabetical order and they show up right here. This is such a sensitive screen. I just touch it and it went into it. Okay, I don't want that. I'm going to bail out of it. Double tap again. Hello, come back to me. Double tap. There we go. And I'm in the organized drawer. There's a lot of settings, a lot of different things you can do here. Unfortunately, right now, it's behaving really badly uh, and not letting me scroll through. But if I get it just right, I can show you. I got all kinds of apps, and they're alphabetically listed, which makes this thing great. And um, you can use uh, the uh, this particular app as one of them if you want to. That makes it quickly and easily available to you. Uh, I choose it that way because I don't personally like going over here and trying to find what I'm looking for from a long scrolling, non-alphabetized list that I can't change the order of. Real drawback, I think, to all of these Android watches. Double tap to bring this up for me is awesome really awesome the other one is long press and hold and you could change that to be whatever you want to this will work on any screen and this one's insta camera for me so i'm going to turn it sideways press and hold long it comes up it takes a picture shows me it took a picture takes a second picture because i've got it set to do two of them in case the first one wasn't still or in focus and it leaves it here on the screen so if i touch it I can take another picture. Now, you're looking at the bottom of a stool that I have my camera on up above there that I'm using as for filming. Uh, so it's nothing really 
special to show you, but it's taking that picture and the picture, of course, is upside down. So that's another wonderful thing you can set up. You can double tap. Have it take a, a, a quick selfie if you have this pointed at you. And if you do selfies, they will be correctly uh, oriented because it's going to, it's oriented uh, initially to be forward and, and you'll see yourself right side up. So if you're into doing a lot of selfies, you can point it up like this, double tap. Ah, sorry, double tap is the drawer, right? I got to still learn. Long press hold. There I am. There it took a picture. There it took a second one, and it's showing me where it's saved on the uh, on the thing, and I can take another one. Hi! Simply by touching it. There. <laughs> Little time delay on that. All of that's then available in the gallery, and you can run with it any which way you want to. Now the final one. So we've covered button mapper. That's mapping this button. The organized drawer with the double tap. Insta camera with the long press and hold. Quick camera. Shake the camera. Brings up the dot. Touch the dot. Takes a picture. And rotate photo for any of them that are taken in this direction. Remember, it's only the stock camera that allows you to hit the button that's going to literally flip this 180 to give you the true perspective when you're filming outwards. All these other third-party camera apps are going to require you to rotate the uh, photo. So let's get over to that one. I'm going to double tap to get here. I'm going to go down to the R's and go to rotate photo. That's this funny little one right there come in here. I'm going to choose a photo. I'm going to go to the gallery. And I'm going to do this always because I don't need to go to file manager. I'm going to get into a quick camera, for example. There's one of them. And I can change it 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever I want. I'm going to flip it once, flip it twice. Now it's right side up. There's the floor. There's the table. And I'm going to hit save. And it now saved that to its own separate folder in the gallery and didn't mess with the original one at all. So after you've done all of your photography, you can easily quit out of here. You can easily go back and um, look at all your pictures, rotate the ones you plan on keeping, and it'll be just as if you were using the stock camera pointed forward and hit the button. Yeah, let's show you what the heck I'm talking about. To get to that, I got to change watch faces to this one, because this is the only one that has the actual camera. There we go. There's looking out. This is the button I'm talking about. All the other camera apps are going to take the picture this way. The stock camera lets you flip it 180. And of course, I'm totally upside down if I lift it, but I can turn that to come back. We saw that when we did the initial review of how this uh, stock camera app works, and it has that rotate button. The uh, rotation app does exactly the same thing. So have some fun with your brand new um, Prime 2, and I suggest you give these apps a try. Whatever you'd like to map into either the long press or double uh, press on the lower button, you can set up with Button Mapper. Organized Drawer is a great way of seeing all of your apps in alphabetical order in thumbnails you can scroll through. Insta camera, quick camera, and rotating photos is another unique and fun way to get you the full resolution images for taking pictures out and flipping them or f uh, selfies without even having to rotate them simply by ah, not double tapping, long pressing. Okay, there I am, there we are, and there's a second picture taken. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Once again, these reviews are made possible through support from Banggood on this particular Cospet Prime 2 watch. They're the ones offering it for us and helped us get this uh, prototype to review for you. So if you're interested in buying the Prime 2, we appreciate if you consider using our show note link as your buying source. That helps us out here at Smartwatch Ticks. Now, some of you guys who've been with me for a while know that I like to tack things on at the very end of videos occasionally. Sometimes they're just for fun, sometimes they're educational, and other times, like 
Now it's critical because everything I showed you, none of it will work until you do one more thing. Yep. You have to go down and find something called optimization in your app drawer, all right? This is on your Android 10 smartwatch, any of them, but in particular, we're doing the Prime 2. Go to optimization, clean task, and you get battery saver. Notice it's turned on. Now, the secret trick, and it's similar but slightly different in Android 7, you tap the screen. When you do, <clears throat> hello, we're on video. Tap the screen. There you go. You get all of your installed apps here. And if they're turned on, it means when you have the screen go off by itself or you turn it off, it wipes out that app. It's saving your battery by stopping it. You have to go in and manually turn off by clicking the switch the apps we just installed, especially your button manager. That needs to be done. Notice they're not alphabetical either. You go in there, you turn those off, there you go, button uh, mapper, make sure they're turned off, bail out of this thing, you can get back now, and now, when your screen goes off, it's still going to work. Quick camera will still come on with the shake, and taking your instant picture will still work, but you got to do that step, or it isn't going to work after the screen goes off. You with me? If you happen to have an Android 7 smartwatch, same kind of thing, but slightly different procedure. On this one, you need to go into your settings, scroll all the way down to more. Once you go into more, you go to background cleaner, and now it looks the same. Battery saver, tap the button. There's all of your apps. Turn off the ones that you want to make sure don't time out on you. Like on this one, I have display brightness for changing the brightness with the little slider. I have to have that off. Otherwise, when the screen goes off or I reboot it, it's not going to work. Okay, those tricks on both Android 7 watches and Android 10 watches will let everything you just saw work functionally and perfectly on your smartwatch.